Hello, my lovely Aries. How are y'all today? I hope all is well in your world. So we're cleansing all the decks of any and all negative energy. Only beings of the purest Wattis lot may seal this reading and give me advice. Seal this reading now in Yeshua's name. Amen and amen. Aho and so it is. Therefore let it be written. Therefore let it be done. Let me cut these in half so you guys can see the cards when I lay them down. Alright. <clears throat> so, let's figure it out, guys. Let's see. What is... Close your eyes and picture your person. What is Aries person thinking about Aries? In their heart for Aries? Plan to do about it with Aries? And all that jazz, please and thank you. Remember that the roles could be reversed. So um, it may be, you know, your person, you feeling what I'm saying your person is feeling. Um, or vice versa, right? And you can really check out any zodiac sign, guys, because even though it's not in your chart, it could be in your person's chart. And you can still resonate with that reading. I do have seven other channels, okay? They're pinned in the comments. You're very likely to find a gold nugget in each one if you go and scope them out. Um, if you're healing from a broken heart, you should go to my beloved Radiant Black Divine One channel and uh, look at that eight-part short series and start those. I am writing a book, so my book is like, it's intense. I'm writing several books, but um, the first book is my biography. And, you know, I, I go way, I'm starting way back to as far as I can freaking remember. And it's like when I get in that mode and I'm writing, it's like I'm back. Oh, let me fix the light so you guys can see better. Sorry, I had them all bent back. Does that help a little bit? I literally have four spotlights and an overhead light, and it's still just, oh, wait, that one's turned wrong. There. Maybe that may worked better. Hopefully that lit it up for you guys a little bit better. Sorry about that. But um, this might help too. Hold on. Ow. Anyways, um, you know, and it gets, it's pretty dark. You know, I have, I went through severe abuse as a child, so you know I get in that mode and then I have to pull myself out of it to take a break and it's just like it's a lot um, it's pretty intense emotions it's like I'm reliving my past you know so it's kind of whew, some rough stuff but little by little we're getting there I can't promise how soon it'll be out but I can promise you it will be out okay <laughs> maybe in three years but <laughs> Because your girl, Cheryl, she had a really tough past, you know, and I have to uh, do it in increments. You know, I can't, um, I can't just sit there and write it out. It's too intense. It's too much abuse. I have to take breaks and, you know, it's just, it's a lot. But anyways, um, so y'all be looking for that. It will come out someday, <laughs> I promise. And then I'm going to work on the How to Heal from a Broken Heart book. Um, but the first part of that is those eight-part shorts. So if you start applying those to your life right now, you'll start healing tremendously, and then you can get my book. I'm also writing a book about overcoming all addictions. So uh, y'all could be looking for that whenever it comes out. <clears throat> Let's find out, Aries. What is your person thinking about you? Well, 
Well, we have the Knight of Swords, the Page of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. So your person is definitely thinking about communication here. This is this is communication. <laughs> Our us. Okay, they're thinking about communicating um, a new beginning. Okay, and they definitely want to speak some type of truth to you. I feel like this is your person. Like, this is you, the light, and this is your person. They feel almost in the dark, like they're reaching for the light, but they just can't quite get to it for probably their own past mistakes, maybe by not communicating in the past. Maybe they needed to communicate in the past, defend you in some way, because this is the Knight of Swords. It can be a defender, a protector, right? And, um, you know, they just feel like they didn't. So it's like you're out of reach. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm getting from these cards. And they know it hurt you. See, there's blood on this, on the sword, on the scissors here. It cut you, right? When they um, just left you out in the cold. So now this is how they feel out in the cold, right? That's kind of what I'm getting from these cards. But um, if they do communicate, they're going to communicate as a child, okay? They're not going to communicate as a grown-up. This is a page. This is a child. So it might be something like, sup, or hello, hi, how have you been, how are you? You know, it's not going to be anything deep like, will you marry me, or anything like that. You know, <laughs> when they communicate, they're going to be very childish in their communication, Okay, and they might even say something brash because it is with the Knight of Swords. You know, like if they say stop and you don't respond the way that they want you to, um, they might get kind of a, annoyed and respond in a way that is not nice. But they initially, what they initially want to do is say some type of truth to you. Okay. Let's clarify with my Legends deck and see what the truth is that they want to say to you or that they're thinking about saying. King of Wands, there you are showing up in your own reading, Aries. Okay. I can't believe my card got torn. Dang it, these are brand new. How did that happen? I always keep them in the box. That is crazy talk. Uh Page of Cups, Temperance, Seven of Pentacles. They may want to work with you in some way or apologize, right, for some type of behavior. They definitely believe this is divinely guided, okay? They believe this is a spiritual connection and that it is protected spiritually. We got Star and Two of Wands, Two, at the bottom of the deck. So they're trying to heal. They're deciding to heal. I think they want you to heal, like, from being mad at them. Like, if you're mad at them, they want you to not be mad at them anymore. They want you to let them uh, come back in. Um, you can also be dealing with the Scorpio. We have the death card there. Yeah, they're going through some type of massive spiritual transformation right now. And I don't know if y'all know this, but not all spiritual awakenings are bad. I've literally had so many in my life that I can't even count. And um, sometimes they were just beautiful. I just grew spiritually. I, it was like, you know, I was enlightened. That's really what a spiritual awakening means. You're enlightened, right? A lot of people call spiritual awakenings the dark night of the soul. But they're not actually the same thing. You can have a spiritual awakening during the dark night of a soul. Right, which is where you have this massive transformation and you grow spiritually. But spiritual awakenings in and of themselves are literally, they don't have to be bad. They can be really beautiful. Um, just growing with God, just growing in the knowledge of God. And I've had several of those as well. But I'm not the average Joe. <laughs> You're talking to somebody who's read the Bible forwards and backwards three times, the book of Revelations forwards and backwards three times. I mean, I've studied all other religions. I have, oh, you name it, I've done it, you know. 
and during the the prayer and supplication and you know is when the growing happens and that's when it be, it's a beautiful enlightenment it's a beautiful spiritual awakening So we have the Four of Cups and the Chariot at the bottom of the deck. So this person is not thrilled about being a grown-up and chasing you um, if you are female. So just FYI on that. They are wanting you to chase them. They do see you as a friend and you make them very happy. The Sun and the Nine of Cups. They may believe Ten of Cups. Dang. Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups, Sun, and the Six of Cups. This person believes you are... A twin flame from their past life. They are very burdened by how much love they have for you. They may be a little jealous of any new person in your life or competition that they may feel that they have. They feel like they are awesome and amazing by sitting back on their haunches not reaching out to you. Right? They think that that makes them... Um, better than the, the men that are. Now, if you're a female, this woman, um, ooh, the tower. Um, this woman, if you're a female, I mean, if you're a male, I'm sorry. If you're a female, I just said what the guy's thinking, right? Or let's say energy, if you're a feminine energy, right? Because it can be, it's all energy, guys. There is no male or female in tarot. But um, if you're a masculine energy, then this woman, um, she's not going to chase you. There's no way in hell. She's not going to come for you. She's not going to message you. She's not going to go out with you. I mean, she will if you contact her. She will talk to you. She will give you the time of day. She will give you respect as a man. But she is not going to chase you in any form or fashion. Okay? That's what the Four of Cups of the Chariot means for uh, the masculine energy. Okay? And a true divine feminine, that is her essence. She doesn't chase. She attracts. A masculine, it is in their inherent DNA to hunt and conquer. It is written in their DNA. So any man who does not want to do that is not in balance. In their masculine and feminine energy okay if they just want to sit back and be the empress let them they'll find another empress <laughs> you know what i'm saying i mean they're gonna find they're not gonna find an emperor if they're gonna be an empress looking for an empress am i making sense I, what i'm trying to say is they're not gonna get what they want sitting back on their haunches right because Men, if you are men, you need to chase the woman. You need to reach out to her. You need to conquer her. You need to take her out on dates. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what this, this, your person is thinking. Okay? So we have the tower here. Let me put that in front of the ace of swords. So they're thinking about just surprising you. Right? I mean, huge surprise, because not all towers are bad. Some towers are good. You have to look at the cards that they are surrounded by. And all of these cards are positive cards, right? So they're wanting to just drop a message on you like a bomb, right? Like surprise the hell out of you. Um, they're really, really nervous about doing that, and they are obsessing. This person is obsessed with you. Okay, this they think that you are obsessed with them, Aries, but you're not. You're not. You've let this person go out of your life. They didn't want to do what they needed to do as a divine energy, whichever energy that is, masculine or feminine. They were not in balance, so you let them go because you don't allow toxicity in your life. Okay? They also may be trying to use word witchery to try and draw you back in. Like if they have another platform, if you guys have platforms, right, um, or social media or anything like that, Rumble, TikTok, whatever, and 
they think you're watching them or you, you you know vice versa whichever one this is obviously it's for Aries person they may be using word witchery to try and mess with your head okay um, I, I won't be surprised if the magician comes out eventually because then that'll also prove that they're doing some type of magic to try and uh, bring you back in as well okay and they're trying to place all the blame on someone else rather than take responsibility for their own actions which was playing mind games with you drawing you in and then kicking you out drawing you in and then kicking you out and you are not about to play that Aries you are Aries hello you are the head of the zodiac uh-uh we don't play around here in these streets like that the tower clarifying the tower wow this person is having a moment they may be realizing that someone else is giving you the attention that they should have right and it's really pissing them off <laughs> they're mad and jealous Ooh, they're seething with jealousy okay this person is losing their shit. All right. Woo, five of coins flipped out. So they're also, they may be struggling with money. Okay. Not, but in a love reading, five of coins actually means that they're insecure. Okay. So we have insecure, toxic, nerves. They're up all night thinking about you. They may be having nightmares. They may be crying. Um, because this Nine of Swords has this woman floating up above here, and this guy in tears, and then this woman with a baby, I'm getting the feeling that there's some kind of third party interference here, Aries, where this, whoever this person is associated with, she knows about you, and she knows that this man is in love with you, and looks at you like this, look at you, you're levitating, okay, this man thinks very highly of you okay and she hates that she absolutely hates that with every fiber of her being and there may even be a child involved not for all of you that's not going to resonate with all of you but for some of you okay um this person may have used this child as a pawn okay at one point or another also but this person knows that you're in love. This man uh, is in love with you. Or a woman. I mean, y'all put the energy where it goes, right? But, yeah. If there's third party interference, the third party knows about you. And all of this makes your, your person... Your person uh, is definitely insecure. Okay? And they boast. They really build themselves up. They talk big on themselves, right? Like, I'm this and I'm that and I'm this and I'm that. But really, it's, it's you know, the people who are really who they are, they don't have to say nothing. They just are. If you notice, guys, I don't boast on myself. I boast on God. So, that's how you can really tell somebody's really insecure when they consistently talk about themselves over and over and over and brag on how psychic they are or how amazing they are or how spiritual they are or how awesome they are you know you'll know that <laughs> they're not any of those things really they're just a scared little boy about to pee his pants you know what I'm saying because they gotta like pick they gotta boost themselves up king of wands so this person is trying to overcome challenges Woo! Bunch of cards. Three of Wands. You guys might be at a distance. But also, um, they're really wanting their ships to come in with you. They really want you to give them another chance. Forgive them. Um, talk to them if they reach out. You know, they don't want... Ooh, the devil again. I'm telling you guys, this person is involved in dark things. They got themselves wrapped up with someone who is into witchcraft or dark. Okay, so let me put it like this. I am Native American. So we use crystals and things like that to help heal the earth, right? Um, 
I do not believe in crossing people's free will or hurting anyone ever, okay? So to me, that is what I think is considered wicked or witchcraft in the Bible, okay? Is when you are doing spells to cross to someone free will. That means love spells. That means, um, you know, trying to do word witchery. That means... Um, you know, anything that you're doing that's a form of manipulation to manipulate someone else is witchcraft, okay? Now, things to help heal the earth, things to help you manifest abundance and whatever, that's different to me, okay? Um, I'm not involved in this. But your person, okay, Aries, Whoever your person is, whoever is their third party, they are involved in this. And they have involved your person in this. Your person is involved in this as well. They use it to manipulate people and pretend that they don't. And this bothers them. Okay? That's why they're up at night thinking about you. Okay? Okay? And because they know that you are true and honest and real. Look at you. You're sitting there levitating. Okay? Yeah. We got the devil twice in two different decks. One in their thoughts. One in their heart. And the tower. Two different decks. One in their thoughts. One in their heart. Your person is going through it right now okay four of wands three of cups ten of cups hermit eight of swords they cannot get you off their mind all they can do is think about how they lost this beautiful connection with you and how you were the truth and you were a guide and you were trying to lead them to the light but they didn't want to listen to you. They didn't want to pay attention to you. They didn't want to defend you. They didn't want to respect you. They didn't want to chase you. They didn't want to reach out to you. Right? So you left. And it's got this person going bat shit fucking balls to the wall crazy. <laughs> Aries. Like legit. This person is crazy. They're going crazy, crazy for feeling so blue. High Priestess, King of Cups, Queen of Swords. Wow. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Pisces. You could be dealing with a Libra. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Scorpio. Um, lots of Libra and Capricorn. I think the tower is the Scorpio card. Is that right? I'm not sure. I can't remember. If it is, heavy Scorpio. Okay. But, um, so this person knows you know they love you. This person knows you know they want to talk. And so does their third party. <laughs> okay. Okay. And it's just a mess. It's just a big, huge pile of dog shit, if you ask me. Pardon my language. I just don't do toxicity. I don't do drama. It lowers my vibration. And I vibrate very, very, very high. And I have to stay at a very high frequency so I'm not affected by this crap. Dark entities, right? Black magic. That's why they call it black. Black magic is bad. White magic would be like healing the earth uh, with crystals manifesting, doing good things, never trying to manipulate any person, right? Or hurt any person or animal or anything. It's all good, right? But this person has tried to manipulate you. They have tried to manipulate with words, 
and magic. And they want to blame this third party rather than take responsibility for their own actions. Right? And they want you to just believe it. Sadly, you're a high priestess, Aries. <laughs> we ain't dumb around here in these streets. Okay? This person's going to have to take accountability for a lot more than just the third party. Right? All right. So let's see. What are their actions? King of Wands. Again, that King of Wands has come out three times. So I'm going to go ahead and put them out here. Um, there you are, Aries, coming out on your own reading. But they want to overcome challenges, okay? Also, they got a big wand for you. <laughs> um, this person probably does sex magic over you, over you, okay? So just be aware if there are times when you're feeling frisky. Know that um, if it's random out of nowhere, that's probably someone tried to manipulate you. So be careful with that, okay? Just be aware. Three of Cups, Four of Wands. This person wants to come forward, communicate, maybe be your friend at first, and eventually take it into a long-term commitment. Queen of Swords, Page of Swords. This is the truth. Eight of Wands. They really do want to communicate. Okay? And this person is spying on you. Everything that you put out, everything that you post... If, if you don't have a social media presence, you guys, then they have someone watching your house or they drive by your house. They have someone feeding them information about you. They ask other people about you, okay? People that you know. Let's get some clarification. Ten of Swords. Ooh, they're so worried that you're going to say no. Okay? Justice at the bottom of the deck. And that this will be their karma. Because of the way that they mistreated you. They know karma is your best friend. They've already felt the heat of the karma. From their misbehavior. Already. Okay? And they're trying to learn. I'm, I'm going to give this person, you know... Some props. They are trying to learn and understand how the spirit realm actually works. But they don't really understand how the spirit realm actually works like you do. Or they wouldn't be doing half the things that they did. Right? And uh, they definitely wouldn't be talking so big on themselves. <laughs> because they would know that you would see right through that. Right? Right? And so does everybody else. Four of Wands again. Wow. Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. And the Emperor. There you are, Aries, coming out in your own reading. They want to protect you. They may want to father your children or get you prego. So be careful of that if you're not wanting to get pregnant. Okay. They do want to send you a message, but they are afraid. They are afraid because of this magic that they've gotten involved in and done that you are just going to be like hell to the nah right um they definitely think about you when they play with themselves okay aries i'm just putting that out there that is a for real deal they daydream about i mean we got the four of wands clarifying the four of wands bro this is this is intense this person, if they ever get the balls, if they ever grow a pair, okay, and actually become a man, um, and, you know, step forward and do what's right, which is message you, they are, their long-term goal is to tie the knot. I mean, it might not be right away, but their long-term goal is to tie the knot, okay? But they, like I said, when they do message you, they're going to come to you like a child. Look at this person on this card he's an idiot right he's just a kid acting like he's big and bad or she she's riding a goat acted like she's big and bad right so if you're a guy then this woman is very immature okay she can be be very entitled very immature not nurturing, 
right? When she comes to you, it's going to be brash, okay? Yeah, look, they want a new beginning. They also feel like they've been a fool for messing this up with you, okay? Six of coins, six of wands to Hierophant. They want to be fair. They want to be victorious. They want to tie the knot. And this always comes out when I'm doing my readings with this card almost every time. It's the white buffalo calf woman. That's why I love these cards. The white buffalo, you see. So anyways, I guess we'll leave it there. I've kind of been, what, dang, going for 30 minutes. Okay. Let's get some messages from your person. We're just going to take like three from here. And I'm just going to grab like a couple from here. Since I took so long on y'all's reading. Okay, guys. So this says, I... Wait, let me read the back. I see you leaving because I have been holding back. What have I been saying, guys? I know I need to give to you. I know I need to be fair to you. I fear karma. So karma has already paid this person a visit. Okay? Someone is doing witchcraft on our union, on your wealth, on my wealth, on the wealth we could have together, but we are wealthy anyways. Amen? Speak it out loud and voice it. Wealthy in the spirit and in truth. <laughs> what did I say? That is crazy. Didn't I say that the third party was doing that? That's nuts. That is nuts. The more I learn from you, the more I realize how wrong I have been and how I so need to right all my wrongs. You were my best friend and you have taught me I am not in control. God is. I'm weighed down and overwhelmed by your purity of heart. Yeah. This person, you know, they see you. They see you. I don't want this to be over. I'm so burdened at the idea of you leaving. What did I say? Two towers and the devil twice. Two different decks. Guys, this person does not want you going anywhere. I know God has ordained this. I know you are my match. I just know our talks are going to be the most amazing the both of us have ever had. Wow. So this person believes this is God ordained and that you, you guys are going to have some pretty awesome talks if they ever gr grow some still kahunis and you give them a chance, right? If you decide to give them a chance. It says it's not fair you're leaving. I'm pouting and childish. See, didn't I say this person could be really childish? Acting like a child. Okay. You could easily play games with me and break my heart, but I know I need to work on my own thought processes because you have integrity and have only shown me truth and I'm terrified. So that's what it really is. That's the bottom line. This person is just afraid of getting hurt. They're heartbroken. They need to heal. You know, they're a child. They're not grown, and they're not doing the inner work. They're just obsessing over you and doing magic. I'm torturing myself over you being single, mingling, and abundant. See, I told you they did not like it if you were talking to anybody else right now. When secretly I'm madly in love with you and want to marry you. What did I say? Two four of wands, two different decks. And I'm too damn shy to tell you. I'm planning on coming forward. I hope it's not too late when I do. Well, Aries, check back in a week or so. We'll see where your person's at. That was an interesting read. Love you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. And you know your girl be back. Go willing.